Okay, hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. well, I'm, I'm really fine. Thank you, guys. So, well, okay. today, guys, okay, we are going to start with, you know, the class, but let's see. Let me share you guys the platform. Uh, let's wait as well a couple of minutes for the rest, okay? Because it's 7.57, right? So, guys, well, as you know, you receive a message, right, guys? That this unit must be finished, right, today. So, session number four, right, guys? Session four. So, guys, let me ask you, who has started this unit yet? ¿Quiénes ya iniciaron a hacer estos ejercicios, guys? Tell me. Yo. Do. Okay. Yo también. Perfect, very nice. Okay, guys, so, well, do not worry, okay, because as well we are going to do it here, but remember, guys, these exercises are very easy, right? The only thing that you have to do is watch this video, okay, <clears throat> and then answer. Remember that the class, they are like reinforcement, right? So you can understand the topic very well, right, guys? So, well, just a reminder, this is, okay, the week number four. So we are going to finish this one. And next week, guys, next week is the last one, right? It's the last one. The last week we are going to do, okay, these exercises, okay, with the final exam, okay? So, well, guys, anybody here has any inconvenience with the platform or with some homework? Yes, no? Not yet? No, yet, no. No. Okay, perfect. Yes. Very nice. So, well, nobody has inconvenience, so that's perfect. So, well, guys, let's see. Yesterday, you remember that we were discussing about food. Remember, guys? Remember about food? Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, let me share you, okay, guys, the presentation for today. Okay, let's see. So yesterday, okay, we were discussing about the food pyramid, right, guys? Remember mm, this food yes. pyramid where we had fruit, vegetables, dairy, meat, proteins, and every stuff like that, right, guys? So, well, yes. let's see. For today, guys, I have here some questions for you, okay? So as you see, here we have the first one. What's your favorite dish? What's that question, guys? Do you know what is that question in Spanish? ¿Cuál es tu favorito plato? Mm, ¿Cuál es tu platillo favorito? Right, sounds better, right? ¿Cuál es tu platillo favorito? Right. Then we have what's your favorite meal? Okay. What do you like to eat? Are there any foods that you absolutely hate? Okay. Si hay alguna comida que ustedes odian, right? Also, uh, are there any foods that you absolutely won't eat? Do you like trying new foods? What's the most recent food that you have tasted? What have you eaten recently? And what new food have you tried recently? Guys, let me ask you, do you understand all these questions? ¿Entienden estas preguntas, guys? Yes, no? Algunas. Yes, sure. sí. Okay, what's the question that you don't understand, guys? ¿Cuál pregunta no entienden? Mm. Yes. La number four. Number four. Are there any foods that you absolutely hate? Que si hay alguna comida que ustedes odian, right? Que ustedes odian. Number six, guys. Are there any foods that you absolutely won't eat? Que si hay alguna comida que absolutamente ustedes no comerían, right? Por alguna razón. Um, okay. This one. Do you like trying new foods? Que si les gusta probar nuevas comidas. What's the most recent food that you have tasted? ¿Cuál es la comida reciente okay, que han probado? What have you eaten recently? ¿Qué han comido recientemente? And the last one. I don't what new remember. <laughs> what new food have you tried recently? Okay. ¿Cuál comida nueva okay, que ustedes jamás habían probado han probado hace poco? Okay. So, well, guys, we are going okay, to discuss this question. Okay. So I'm going to divide you guys in groups, okay? So we can discuss this question. Guys, uh, you have already the photo, okay, 
on the WhatsApp group, right? If you want, okay. Um, let's see, to take a screenshot, that's cool, okay? If you can take a screenshot or a photo, but it's already in the WhatsApp group. So guys, now I'm going to divide you, okay, in groups. So let's see, let's make four, five groups. So well, guys, now you can okay. accept the invitation, right? Accept the invitation and let's practice, okay? Come on. Okay, Cesar, if you can accept the invitation, please.
Okay, welcome, welcome. Let's see, let's wait for the rest, okay? Let's see. Okay. Okay, perfect. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. I hope you have this chaos, guys. So, because right now, guys, we are going to put into practice this question. So let's see, guys, let me ask, okay, some of you, let's see, let's start with uh, Selma. Hello, Selma. Hello, teacher. Hi, Selma. Tell me, what's your favorite dish? Okay, uh, my favorite dish is a uh, pizza. Okay, very nice, cool. Thank you. Now, let's okay. see. Uh, let's see, Alison. Hello, Alison. Hola, teacher. Hi, Alison. Tell me, what's your favorite meal? Mm, my favorite meal is a tortilla soup. Tortilla soup. Okay, delicious. Yeah, I, I really like that meal. Perfect. Now, let's see, Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello. Hi, Jacqueline. Tell me, what do you like to eat? Uh, my favorite, my favorite is eat soup. Soup. Okay, I like to eat soup. You can say. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. How do you say platano frito? Platano frito. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, I guess um, platano frito. Well, that's, I guess you can say like, van no, it's not banana. Fry, it's a fry uh, plantain. Yeah, fried plantain is a way. Let me write it here for you. Fried plantain. Let's see. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Your fried plantain. That's the way you can say it. Okay, interesting. Cool. Now let's see. Uh, Delmi, hello, Delmi. Hello, teacher. Delmi, tell me, are there any foods that you absolutely hate? Hate. Quiero ver. La flor de isote. Flor de isote. Okay. Isote flower. Okay. Isote flower. <laughs> okay, perfect. Well, I like that. <laughs> Don't be bad. Perfect. Now let's see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now let's see Christopher. Hello, Christopher. Hello, teacher. Hi. Tell me, Christopher, are there any foods that you absolutely won't eat? Mm, I won't eat. Hay un plato especial de sushi, pero no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Ah, creo que es como, no sé, pero que lleva como pulpo, pero no me recuerdo el nombre. Ramen? It can be a ramen. Creo que sí. Okay. Pero... <laughs> okay, a ramen is soup. Okay. okay. Excuse me. What's the name? The ten. The ten. Well, I have never tried that. Well, okay, perfect, Christopher. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. Teacher. You're welcome. Now, Tatiana. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, teacher. Hi, Tatiana. Do you like trying new foods? Um, no. No. Why not? No sé cómo se diría como que no me gusta salir de mi zona de comodidad. Okay, I don't like to um, escape from my comfort zone. Okay. Okay. Okay, Tatiana. Well, that's interesting. Very nice. So, Melissa. Hello, Melissa. 
Hello, teacher. Hi, Melissa. Tell me, what's the most recent food that you have tasted? Um, repeat, teacher. Yeah, this one. What's the most recent food that you have tasted? ¿Cuál es la comida más reciente que has probado? Um, my food... Uh, sería the most recent food is... Mm -hmm. Xiao Ming. Xiao Ming. Okay. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Well, I, I don't like Xiao Ming at all, you know. I don't know why. I prefer ramen. So, well, very nice, guys. So, well, let's see. Guys, I have here, okay, an exercise for you, okay? So, guys, you know about grammar now and vocabulary. But now, guys, let's put into practice our listening, Okay our listening skills, okay? So guys, let's see. I'm going to share you this link, okay? If you see on my screen, guys, you will see that there is a listening, okay? And there are some words, okay? So in this case, guys, what you are going to do is you're going to hear the list, okay? You're going to hear about it, okay? And you are going to choose what is the correct word for each one. So for example, the listening was like, hi, Connor, what have you, okay? And you are going to move, okay, to this one. What is the current one? Okay, what you hear? Okay, guys. So now, guys, let me share you, okay, the link of this exercise. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys. Let's see, because the listening is just like one minute and a half. I'm going to give you like five minutes, okay, five or four minutes to finish this exercise. It's very easy, so do not worry. Okay, it's a very easy exercise. So I have shared you here the link. Ya les compartí el link aquí en el chat de Zoom. Now let me share you to the WhatsApp group. Okay, déjenme también compartírselos al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay, let's see. And if you have any question, guys, you can let me know, okay? Let's see, perfect. So now, guys, let's see. We have four minutes, okay, to finish this exercise. So let's start, okay, guys? This is a listening exercise, okay? Un ejercicio de listening. Solo tienen que darle play, ¿ok? Escuchar y ver en qué palabra va cada quien, ¿ok? So, come on, Yes, please. Start now, guys. Inician ya que el time is running, ¿ok? Time is running. Tiempo está corriendo, right? Come on, guys. And at the end, guys, ¿ok? You can click on terminado. Cuando hagan clic en terminado, guys, les va a salir a esta página. Ustedes solo le dan clic en comprobar mis respuestas. Una vez le dan ahí, chicos, aquí les va a salir la nota arriba, ¿ok? Y eso es lo que me tienen que enviar, ¿ok? Una screenshot, photo, o whatever, right? So, come on, guys, let's start. Pueden hacerlo tanto en el celular como en la computadora, guys. It's acceptable, ¿ok? En ambos lugares les va a cargar la página. So, come on. Teacher me pide registrarme el link. Mm, really, no. Uh, denle refresh page, entonces denle solo refrescar la página. Eh, no es necesario que les pida registro, ¿ok? Solo baje, ¿ok? Baje en la página y va a ver que abajo está el ejercicio. Okay. If you have any question, guys, you can let me know, okay?
Josucito, pásame el otro teléfono, la gente no está. ¿Dónde está? ¿En tu cama? Okay, so we have, okay, Michelle, perfect, Michelle, 10 over 10. Cool, very nice. Okay, guys, so come on. One of your classmates has already finished. So come on, guys, it's very easy, this exercise, right? Just listen. Okay, guys, so time's up. Who has finished, guys? Can I just Okay. Jenny, okay, perfect. Okay, very nice. Okay, cool. Evelyn, Christopher. Okay, very nice. Melissa, okay, I see that everybody's sending. So perfect, guys. So, well, this exercise, guys, was really easy, right? So this was very basic, okay? You only have to play the audio and listen to it. Okay, so now guys, let's move on. Okay, before to end with you know with this module about food, let's ask okay some questions. Okay, guys, so let's see. Let's ask people who has participated. Jose Luis, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Jose hello. Luis. Let me ask you, what's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit are two in apple. And banana. Okay, delicious. Your teacher, um, probably grapes. I like grapes, you know. <laughs> so probably that's my favorite yeah. fruit. Okay, it's very good. nice. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now, now let's see, teacher. Cesar. Hello, Cesar. Hi. Hi, Cesar. Tell me, what's your favorite drink? My favorite drink is. Eh, batido de leche con guineo ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Batido de leche con guineo Okay, you can say like a mix With banana and uh, Banana and milk, right? Just, yeah, banana okay, and milk thank you. I, I like it Banana milk Okay, nice Okay, that's interesting Now let's see, Jose Roberto Hello Jose? Jose Roberto, are you here? I know you're here. And uh, the microphone. Yeah. Okay. So, hello. Tell me, what's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite fruit is uh, pear. Uh, what? Excuse me. Oh, pera, fish. Ah, pear. No. Oh, pear. food, but pear. yeah, that fruit. That's fruit, but food. Uh, food. Oh, oh, pardon. My favorite food is uh, ch uh, chicken with potato. Chicken with potato. Okay, delicious. I like it. Perfect. Very nice. Thank you. Now let's see Eliseo. Hello, Eliseo. Hello, teacher. Hi, Eliseo. Let me ask you this question. Do you eat your favorite food usually? Yes. My favorite food usually is chicken. Okay, and do you eat usually? Si comes usualmente tu comida favorita. Yes, no? Yes. Okay, perfect. Very nice. And now the last question is for Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Hello, teacher. 
Hi, Barbara. Let me ask you this question. What's your mother's favorite food? <laughs> um, um, yes. She likes... Um, she likes? She likes uh, grapes. Grapes. Look, grapes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what else? Tell me. Um uh, and bread, a pan. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Bread, yeah, bread. Bread. Uh, pues, okay, yes. perfect, very nice. So, guys, do you know your mother's favorite food? Ustedes saben cuál es la comida favorita de su madre, guys. Everybody, yes, no. Some, I guess. Yes. You... <laughs> okay. Yes. Perfect. Very nice. So, well, guys, you know, now let's move on, okay? Because now, guys, we have to talk about a topic, okay, that introduce some and any. But first of all, guys, let's have this conversation. How about some sandwiches? Let's see. Uh, in this one, can you help me, Evelyn? And let's see. And Christopher. Well, Evelyn and Christopher. So, Christopher, you are going to be Adam and Evelyn, Amanda. So, let's start, guys. Okay. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how, how about about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheeses. Don't we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. Um, let's be some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so here we have this conversation. Let me ask you guys, do you understand this conversation? Yes, no? Is there any yes. word that you don't know? Yes. Yes. Okay, everything is clear. Todo está claro, guys? You understand everything? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. that's awesome, guys. So, well, now, guys, you know, let's move on. Now, we are going to talk about some and any, right? Countables and no countables nouns, okay? So, let's start with the first one, guys. We have here some examples, okay? Do we need any eggs? Okay, do we need any eggs? So any guys, if you see here, we are using as equation. And let's see, yes, let's get some, okay, eggs. So some here is like a statement, right? Affirmative sentence. And we have another one. We don't need any eggs. So we are going to use any one more time here. But in this case, it's in negative, right? So here, guys, these are some examples, okay? So any, commonly, we're going to use for questions and for negative statements. And some for positive, okay? Do we need any bread? Okay, this is a question. Yes, let's get some bread. Positive. No, we don't need any bread. Negative. Question and negative. And this is some in positive. Now, guys, we have count nouns and non-count nouns. So what are those, guys? So count nouns are things that we can count, right? So let's see. Let me give you guys, probably you will understand better in this one. Let's see. Let me share you the screen for you. Let's see. Okay. So guys, let's start with this one. So countable nouns, okay, are nouns that we can count. Son los sustantivos contables, chicos. For example, son... Car, house, book, okay? Eso es un ejemplo. Un carro, una casa, un libro. ¿Por qué? Porque podemos decir one car, un carro, two cars, two carros, three cars, tres carros, okay? So, the ones that you can count, los que pueden contar, chicos, okay? Recordemos, podemos contarlos de esta forma. Un libro, dos libros, una casa, dos casas, okay? Now, guys, tenemos singular and plural, okay? Recordemos los singulares y plurales. Tenemos a car, ¿ok? A car, un carro. Cars, carros, ¿ok? 
Recordemos que agregamos la S, ¿ok? Siempre vamos a agregar la S cuando estemos hablando en plural, ¿ok? A house, una casa. Houses, casas. A book, un libro. Books, libro, ¿ok? En este ejemplo, chicos, teníamos one car, un carro. Two cars, dos carros. Si se dan cuenta, aquí ya agregamos S, right? Porque ya estamos hablando de más de dos cosas, right? Now, guys, let's see. Recordemos también cuando, cuando utilizar el A y el AM. You remember, guys? So, A y el AM, recordemos que es por el sonido, right? Y el A y AM, chicos, lo vamos a utilizar para los singular countable nouns, ¿ok? Para los sustantivos que son singulares contables. Por ejemplo, I have a car when I was a child, ¿ok? No podemos decir, chicos, I have car, ¿ok? Eso no suena bien. Tiene que ser I have a car. Tengo un carro. You have a book. Tienes un libro, ¿ok? Got it, guys? Understandable hasta aquí, todo bien. Everything's yes. cool. Yes, Now, true. guys, movámonos a los son contable nouns, ¿ok? Los que son incontables. ¿Cuáles son esos, chicos? Well, we have money, ¿ok? La, la palabra dinero, ¿ok? No se puede contar. Milk, la leche, rain, la lluvia, ¿ok? Every liquid, guy, todos los líquidos no se pueden contar, right? That's impossible. Por eso no podemos decir one money, two monies, okay? Eso no existe, right? That doesn't exist. Now, guys, we have only singular, okay? So uncountable nouns do not have plural. Los que son incontables no tienen plural, okay? No podemos decir monies. Milk, no podemos decir milks, okay? Rain, lluvia. <laughs> Rains, right? That doesn't exist. Y para los incontables no utilizamos el A y el AN, ¿ok? Para esos no los utilizamos, ¿ok? So, podemos decir, I need money. Necesito dinero. I need money. No podemos decir, I need a money. Eso no, no suena bien, ¿ok? So, I need money, ¿ok? Got it, guys? Yeah. So, guys, yes. here we have the type of words that are uncountable, okay? Las tipos de palabras que son incontables. So, tenemos food, drinks, and liquids. Por ejemplo, cheese, okay? Bread, pasta, coffee, milk, okay? Materials, iron, wood, metal. También las ideas abstractas, no las podemos contar, right? Formation, advice, strength, time, okay? Love. El amor, right, no se puede contar love, right? Now, illnesses, que las enfermedades, guys, no podemos contar diabetes, Alzheimer, cancer, okay? No, no son contables, right? Al igual que los languages, los idiomas, right? English, French, Spanish, right? So we cannot use that one. Now, guys, let's move on for the part that is important for us, okay? Para lo que nos importa. So some and any, okay? So some, chicos, y any, lo vamos a utilizar tanto para los contables que son plurales como los singulares que no son contables. So for example, guys, he gave me some coins. Él me dio algunas monedas. He didn't give me any coins. Él no me dio ninguna moneda, right? So let's see. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar some, guys? Lo vamos a utilizar solo para positive sentences, ¿ok? Oraciones positivas. So, for example, we cooked some cookies. Cocinamos algunas galletas. ¿Ok? Son positivo. Y any gods. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar any? We are going to use any for negative and questions. Vamos a utilizar any solo para las oraciones negativas y para hacer preguntas. For example, she didn't send me any messages. Ella no me mandó, que no me envió ningún mensaje. Didn't, negativo, right? Have you got any brothers or sister? Okay, esa es una pregunta, right? Or do you, do you have any brothers or sister? Okay, y bueno, eso es lo más importante. Now, guys, let's see. Vamos a ver si hemos aprendido, right? So let's make this exercise. Let's see. 
So guys, let's start with this one. What do you think is the correct answer? Are there grapes, some or any? Any, some, any, 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 some, any, some, any, any, some, any, some, any, any, some, 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 some, any, some, some, any, some, any, some, any, some, some, any, some, some, any, some, some, any, some, any, some, some, any, some, some, any, some, some, any, some, some, any, So some solo para positivas. Now this one. Nice. Milk in the fridge. Some. 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 Porque es positiva, right? Es positiva. Cool. Now there aren't eggs at home. Some or any? Any. 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 Perfect. It's negative. Aren't. Negative. Very nice. Now, I don't have money. Any, 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 any. Correct. Any. Now he doesn't have friends. Any, any, any. Okay. Any, any. There any. are parrots in the cage. So, 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 so there are okay. So parrots, chicos, parrots. There are some parrots in the cage. Exactly. Now sound perfect. There are tea bags yeah. in the cupboard. Some. There some. are some no. tea bags in the cupboard. Perfect. Some. Does she drink orange juice? Any. Any. Does she drink any, any. orange juice? Perfect. I have news for you. Some. I have um, some, I have news, some news, news for okay. you. Okay. This one. Any. 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 It's a question. How we got any. I want onions, please. Um, I want some. Um, some. Okay. I don't want yogurt. Thank you. Any. 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 Okay. Nice. Tomatoes are countable or uncountable? Countable. 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 Perfect. Countable. Rice is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 Water is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. No countable. Todos los líquidos, chicos, son uncountable. Carrots are countable or uncountable? Countable. 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 Perfect. Cookies are countable or uncountable? Countable. Okay. Sugar is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Perfect. Now, this one, guys. There is okay, orange and... And some... A, A, B, or C? B. B. Exactly. Um, there is an orange. Remember, an orange. An, yeah, and orange. some potatoes. Very cool. And the last one, guys. I have burger and some cookies. Uh -huh. Sorry, Key. Well, this one is wrong, right? Some. Uh, some. Um, some. Exactly. It's letter B. Aquí, el some estaba de extra, right? Perfect, guys. So that's cool. Very nice. So, guys, do you have a question about some or any? Yes, no? Alguna pregunta con some and any? Duda? No. Teacher? No? Yeah? No. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, you can share the link of the page um, on the WhatsApp group. Sure, of course. Perfect. Let me copy for you guys. Okay. So now, guys, Thank let's you, see. Teacher. You're welcome. Now, guys, let's see. Now, because I know that you have, okay, see this one, guys, we are going to make an exercise, okay? So this exercise, okay, you are going to do it, okay, alone, okay? So I'm going to send you the link right now, okay? It's here on the chat box of Zoom, but let me send you as well to the WhatsApp group, okay? So let me send you right now so you can get it, right? So 
It's already in the WhatsApp group. And let me also share you, okay, the information, the presentation that we saw today. Okay. So now, guys, let's start with this quiz, please. Come on, guys. Yes. Yes. Este, literalmente, entonces, eh, any se utiliza en incountable y negative y some en countable y positive. Well, any lo podemos utilizar para countable and uncountable, ¿ok? Ah, Pero no. la diferencia, exacto, la diferencia es que any va solo para negativo y pregunta. Some, y some es para ah, oración positiva. Exacto. Ok. Ok, guys. So, now, Is guys, it? you're welcome. Now, you have an exercise, ok, guys? So, you only have to decide some or any, right? Just 10 questions right now. So, you have the link of the WhatsApp group and as well here in the chat box, ok? So, let's start, guys, please. Okay, so I can see K okay, Evelyn. Okay. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Very nice, guys. So I see everybody understood this topic. So that's perfect. Very cool. So, well, guys, you see, this is not like a very, I mean, complicated topic, right? It's very easy and interesting, right? So now, guys, let's see. Uh, let's wait a couple of minutes, okay, for the rest to finish, okay? So it's very easy, right, guys? So you don't have to worry about it. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so you can see everybody has sent. Perfect, guys. That's cool. Very cool, guys. So, well, now, guys, let's see. Let's move on. I know that some of you have finished this part, okay? So, let's see. In this case, guys, we are going to do, okay, the first exercise on the platform is about, okay, some or any, right? So, we have the first one. It says, Amanda, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have a lot of potato. Let's make, okay, what do you think, guys? Some or any? Some. Some. Okay, why some, some guys? Por qué some? This is positive. Okay, yeah. now, guys. Okay, do we have mayonnaise? Any uh, or some? Any. any. Why is any, guys? Porque es any. That question. Is... Okay. Okay. Now, no, we need to buy any um, answer. Um, um, okay. Now, we need onions too. Any um, answer. Um, okay. um, oh, I don't want any or some. Any. any. Okay, any. any onions. Okay, I hate onions. Then let's get, okay, celery. Any some. or some? Some. Okay. And the last one. Uh, no, I don't want 
celery in my potato salad? Any. Any. Okay. But let's put apples on it. Any or some? Some. Um, okay. Perfect. So now, guys, let's see. Okay. So, well, perfect, guys. If you see, if you guys have any question, right, uh, you can also let me know, right? So, with this one, we'll finish the first exercise, okay? So, the first exercise is already completed, right, guys? So, now, we only have two pendings. Now, guys, let me ask you, do you have questions about this topic? Yes, no, a little bit. Everything is understandable. En yeah. una de las horas en las que acabamos de leer, yeah. decía no, no, y después decía otras palabras. Oh. Eh, ahí no era él, porque decía no. Okay, let's see. This one. No, this one. No, we need to buy. En este caso, aquí difiere, ok, no, coma, ok, tenemos el coma, Ajá. y ahora está esta oración, esta oración es la que va a llevar ya sea some o any, y si te das cuenta esta oración está positiva, right, so porque está positiva sí. es some, right, si aquí dijera okay. no, we don't need, ya sí sería any, right, pero en este caso, uh, okay, some, sorry. ok, Thank you. you're welcome, so, Perfect. Remember, guys, the comma okay, has to deal with many things, okay? Very nice, guys. So, any other question besides that? Yes, no? Okay. So, that's cool, guys. So, we are, you know, making things really fast. So, that's perfect. So, we are going, okay, now to move to the next, okay, PowerPoint. So, let's see, guys. Here we have, okay, another conversation, okay? This is more interesting than the previous one. So, let's see. In this one, I'm going to take, let's see, uh, uh, Laura and Cesar. Hello, Laura. Hello, teacher. Hi, Laura. You're going to be Sara and Cesar. You're going to be Kumik, okay? So, okay. let's start, guys. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for bread, breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, thank you very much, you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So let's see, here we have a conversation, very interesting. What is the conversation about, guys? ¿De qué es la conversación? Tell me, do you understand? Uh, que en el desayuno, que en Japón desayuna pescado. Exactly, uh -huh. perfect. Guys, do you like fish for breakfast? ¿Le gusta el pescado como desayuno? Yes, no? No. 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 <laughs> no okay. But you haven't tried it, pero no lo han probado, right? Because... You can try it, okay, yeah. once. So probably you will like it. So perfect, guys. Let's see. Uh, well, in this conversation, guys, do you understand everything here? Is there any word that you don't understand? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no entiendan aquí, guys? Yes, no? Things. Okay. Try. Okay. Okay, tenemos things. Things is a very common word. Okay? Esta palabra es bastante común. Things significa cosas, ok, cosas, ok. Aquí está en plural, si se dan cuenta es plural porque tiene una S. So, things, cosas, thing, cosa, ok, en singular. Con qué teacher, sin. Excuse me? Con, ¿Cómo la pronuncia? Things, things, yeah, things. things. Remember, the tongue is on the tip. Los, la lengua está entre los dientes. Things, things, okay? Now, guys, uh, let's say try. Try, guys. Try es un verbo que significa intentar, okay? Intentar. So, I like to try new things. Me gusta intentar nuevas cosas, okay? So, try. 
Perfect. Any other word, guys? Alguna otra palabra? Yes, no. Everything is understandable. Todo está entendido, you guys? Yes, no. Yes. 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 Okay. Sure. Very nice, guys. So let's see. Oh, sorry. Let's see, guys. So we have, okay, for this one, we have a different breakfast, okay? So if you see for US, we have this common breakfast. That is eggs, okay? Bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly, right? So this is for US. But for Japan, okay, for breakfast, they have fish, okay, rice, soup, pickles, and a green tea, okay? And what about Mexico? In Mexico, if you see, they have eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, and coffee with milk, okay? So, guys, what do you think is the most delicious, okay, breakfast? U.S., Japan, or Mexico? Mexico. What do you think? Mexico. Okay, Mexico. 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 Okay, interesting. Okay, so everybody likes Mexico food. U.S. Perfect. Now, guys, let's move on, okay? So let's see. Guys, you know, sorry, you know about daily routines, right, guys? Daily routines is like the things that you usually do during the day, right, guys? So, for example, what do you do in the morning, guys? You wake up, right? You get up, you take a shower, okay? You get dressed, okay? You comb the hair, have breakfast, go to work, have lunch, okay? So, here, guys, I have here some questions, okay, for you. So let's see, we have time, guys. So, guys, this question we are going to discuss first in group, okay? So, guys, I'm going to divide you, okay, in groups to discuss this question, okay? So let's see, I'm going to take your photo so you can have it, okay? You can have it, I'm going to send you to the WhatsApp group, okay? So now, guys, let's see, let's get the same groups. So let's see, five, four groups. Okay, guys, so now you can accept invitation, right? And let's discuss this question. Discutamos estas preguntas, okay? I will send you to the WhatsApp group, okay? So come on, guys.
Okay, guys, welcome, welcome. Hey, how do you have practice, guys? Let's see, we're going to wait a couple of minutes for the rest to join. Let's see. Okay. Let's wait for the rest, guys, to join here to the medium. Okay. Hola. Hi. Hello, Delmi. So let's wait, okay, for the rest to join, or do you have any question? Sobre las preguntas, dice teacher. Uh, yes, do you have sure. any question? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Yes, no. Mm. Okay, so. No. Yes. Okay, cool, very nice. So, well, guys, let's see, because, you know, time is running, guys, okay? Tomorrow, okay, I'm going to ask you, okay, to you guys, randomly, this question, okay? Las preguntas que acabamos de discutir, chicos, okay? Mañana, a cada uno, okay? Eh, bueno. Le voy a preguntar, ok, así randomly, ok, para ver que, cuál es su respuesta, ok, guys. So, well, guys, let's stop here, ok. Terminemos, ok, aquí. So, guys, I hope to see you tomorrow, ok. Pero verlos mañana, tomorrow is uh, Wednesday, ok. Recordemos, esta vez sí vamos a tener clases okay. solo de hasta el jueves, ok. So, guys, tomorrow I'm planning, ok, to finish, ok, this unit, yeah. Mañana, ok, podemos terminar la unidad. La vamos a terminar si ustedes no han terminado los ejercicios, ok. Porque para esta okay. semana, chicos, ok, esta unidad tiene que estar terminada y según el mensaje que enviaron, también deben de iniciar, ok, la siguiente unidad. So, ok, this week probably we are going to start with this unit, ok, with the new unit, ok. So, guys, you know, okay. nice to see you today, guys, and hope you have a good night, ok. See you tomorrow, ok. So bye bye. Okay. Guys. Bye. 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 Bye.